Hi everybody, this is Dushan. I'm going to explain a little bit um, my piece, Sonata Number no. 3, say a few words about it. Uh, I will start by playing just the very beginning of the piece. So this is just the beginning and um, the what I could call the first theme or the, 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 the a group of the first theme. Uh, this piece was commissioned by the Freeburg Guitar Festival in 2010 and I premiered the piece myself. It's been already seven years ago, now this is 2017. Um, I played this piece uh, at a gallery in Fribourg, a, a very interesting and curious place, um, gallery of um, Swiss sculptor painter Jean Tangli, and I will leave you here a, um, a photo of this gallery. Um, he constructed very curious looking uh, um, kind of conglomerations of machines, all kinds of machines that make sounds, they move, they don't have any, any, any real purpose to them. Anyway, it's just a very kind of an interesting and curious, um, curious place. Um, this piece has a lot to do with uh, Fantasia form and it has influences of Francesco Canova da Milano, which has been a great influence in my music in general and uh, my writing or of, of polyphony. So, so much uh, that in the beginning I was thinking of calling this sonata, sonata ricercata, actually. Uh, but then I changed my mind because the sonata didn't wind up being uh, in, in the richer car form throughout and it sort of changed form um, as the piece progressed. Uh, scale that I used in this piece is um, this curious scale that's a combination of a Lydian and a Phrygian or perhaps a part of diminished scale. So this is the Lydian part. And then this is the Phrygian or diminished. So these are two tetrachords again. I use transposition of this scale uh, a lot, so there is also transposition in A and transposition in C sharp. So again, this is F, then A, C sharp, and then there is a synthetic scale which winds up So it has both G and G sharp. Um, I will play just a little bit the very beginning uh, one more time so you can hear some of the imitation that I've used. Actually, it starts with a stretto already in the very beginning, the very beginning of the piece. So one line, the bass line is. Uh, middle line and then the upper line so together these lines etc the the harmonic language of this piece is uh, again pretty curious because it all de derives from the same mode. There I use um, actually a fair amount of um, basic uh, chords but they have very strange connections between them because of, of the pe peculiarity of this mode. So for example the beginning uh, again just to play the very beginning <laughs> A7, A dominant, a 
augmented. Uh, we'll uh, continue speaking a little bit about some other sections of the piece. <laughs> 